Sarah Lugo representing for Reggaeville. I'm here with Holly Cook. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise, <laughs> thank you. Tell us uh, something about yourself. Where are you from? When did you start doing music? And this is your first time Summer Jam, right? Yeah. Tell us about how the show went and, and how it felt for you to be here for the first time. And yeah, give us a little oh, information. Really? Okay. Um, well, I'm from London. I've been singing maybe since I was born. Um, I went to uh, a very musical school, um, which helped me to, uh, you know, get more used to performing. And I was in bands. Um, when I left school, I I ended up in a band called The Slits and did lots of touring with them. Um, through that, I met a wonderful man who's a producer called Prince Fatty mm -hmm. and worked with him for many years. Um, the end result being my album that came out last year. Um, since then, I've been doing a bunch of shows in Europe. This today being my first time playing in Germany. Um, I was really, really excited about Summer Jam. I've heard, um, I've heard really good things about it, and it was a really, really good show. Um, the the crowd were really up for it. They were really lively and and warm, and and had a really good time. And I was even surprised to see people singing along the words to my songs, <laughs> which was the, one of the nicest surprises of all. I mean, that's always a nice thing to see it, it's kind of overwhelming but I mean especially when it's um, when it's a country that you've not yet played in I kind of wasn't really sure if anyone was going to care yeah. <laughs> so the fact that there were people there was already a great start and the fact that they were singing along and seemed to be enjoying themselves was really really nice for me. You got to know that while you were playing my brother's band was playing on the other stage oh. and they're like kind of well known in Germany so the people who were there to see you definitely wanted to see you, just so you know. <laughs> no, I was worried about that too because I'm aware that all the bands are playing at the same time and that I'm up against some very big names. So, <laughs> no, but you did a great job. It was a nice show. The vibe was good. Your band rocks. Like, yeah. I was surprised. I didn't. I just knew some of your music before. I actually heard that you were playing here, but I liked it very much. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I would like to know. Um. You're a female in the business, right? So, m myself, me too. Like yeah. I'm an artist as well. And some some lady artists say that it's very hard to do the thing because it's very male dominated. And how do you feel about it? Um, well, yeah. I mean, it's clearly a male dominated industry. But I think that as long as you are comfortable with yourself and you know what it is that you want from what you're doing um, and you have your head screwed on then it's kind of gender irrelevant I've I've felt so far that I don't well I mean I don't feel that I've ever been discriminated against for being a female in this industry but even if I have I've got no no reception to it I yeah. don't that that negative thing doesn't come into my world yeah. and my frame of mind you can't you can't really let it be like that and I think that also like you can't you can't separate yourself as a female you just have to be a person doing it the way that every other person is doing it so you don't know like I think that if you think too much about that, then you're it's, it's, you're doing yourself more harm than others are doing you for being a female anyway. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Um, your dad was a very or is a famous um, musician. Yeah. He's playing with the, or plays with the Sex Pistols, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's a punk band, right? Yeah. How much how much punk do you feel is inside of you, coming from from that kind of area and music oh. genre? I guess a lot still. I mean, I I've always been influenced by punk music and grew up listening to the stuff and punk was really my gateway into reggae anyway. Um, I sang in the Slits who were essentially a punk band but they were really really inspired and influenced by reggae music which is how I really kind of got into it myself but I think that you know, the punk thing 
conscious or not, is always going to be a part of me. It's my, it's my heritage, I suppose. So, so yeah, I was born that way. <laughs> hey, that's good. It's, it's an interesting combination. You don't have it too often in the reggae, so yeah. yeah. It keeps it interesting, yeah. definitely. <laughs> What's what's coming up for you? Um, is there a new album you're working on? Is there a tour coming up? I mean, you're on tour right now, right? Yeah. But what's what's planned in the future? Just tell the people about your, you know, what can we expect from Holly Cook? I mean, I'm, I've been touring for a lot of this year. I'm going to continue touring Europe um, until September. So I've still got a couple of months left. Um, I'm also currently just starting to work on my second album, so towards the end of the year, uh, hopefully I will have that body of work close to completion, at least for, for the most part as far as having finished songs and then we'll um, go from there really. So, um, so yeah, more shows. I'm really enjoying playing live and now I guess I'm as daunting as it is to make a second album I'm also really excited about the new material that I'm working on so nice we're looking forward to hearing it definitely last question what is your like okay last two questions who who inspires you most like who are the artists that you listen to personally at home and um, what is your all-time favorite album just pick one I know usually there's a lot of them but just the first one that comes to your mind <laughs> okay gosh okay so a lot of people inspire me I guess um, um, singers like Dusty Springfield and and groups like the Shangri-Las uh, are huge influences to me it's what I listen to a lot of is 60s pop music really um, also, The Slits, Ari Up, is my biggest inspiration and my biggest motivation for, for uh, doing what I do and the reason that I am where I am. Um, my favourite album of all time is close to impossible. I don't think I could really say. <laughs> well, the first one that pops up in your head. Oops, if I... Um, yeah, the first album that you can think of that you would put in your record right now <laughs> in your player oh geez uh, okay first one pops into my head generally always goes back to David Bowie <laughs> Aladdin Sane is a is an extremely um, wonderful album and one of his most favorite of mine so that's, you know it's, it's an unexpected one but yeah <laughs> all right thank you for your time thank you for the interview i wish you all the best for your career and the music and, and i hope that it goes well and I'm sure we're gonna hear more from you soon so. all right all the best <laughs>